Let me come on here <coughs> for a little bit. Damn. This shirt. <laughs> no, it looks like shit. That's okay. I've been working. Good afternoon. Hey, KJS. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Hey. Oh, God, that's a lot of boss man. Hey, Rio. Hey, Diana. I've been working. I've been busy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Ruby. How y'all doing today? I've been super busy working. I'm off today, so I go back tomorrow <laughs> to one of the jobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been exhausting. Right? They sure do. Hey, Ruby. Hey. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I've been busy. I've been working. I've been trying to find an apartment. Um, I found one. I want to clarify the situation. I found one that I like. I found one with a move-in special uh, for $299. You move in for like $300. That's their special. That is not the rent. People have been saying that, oh my God, is that the rent? And I'm thinking to myself, if that was the rent, we would all be living lovely. But that's not the rent. I know how much the rent is. So I found an apartment that's going to work with my eviction. It's a second chance apartment. It's going to work with my credit. So I've been putting it out there on TikTok that I found a place and um, I like. Um, and I was trying to see if I can raise the money for it. So the apartment is available on the 19th of this month. Um, and I was hoping to raise that so that I can move in as soon as, you know, the 19th pops up because you know it takes a couple of days for them to do what they got to do so that we can move in so people have been i think thinking that that's the rent for the month and it's not <laughs> it's not so yeah right that fits us right right so somebody a couple of people were saying oh is that the rent and i'm like what what part of move in special did you not understand so I'm having an issue. I deleted all my videos because I wanted to put um, that part of my life behind me. Does that make sense? I wanted to put that life um, behind me. The whole point of me the last two years, I think people are misunderstanding um, and they're taking it in a different direction. Um, the whole point of me sharing my journey the last two years was to tell my story. You know share my feelings my thoughts my opinions my depression my anxiety and i think people have taken it uh they twisted it you know they they twist the story around and whatever the whatever the case may be so there is someone out there who is also i deleted them because there's someone out there a youtuber a so-called youtuber um she has a page only about me like all 86 88 videos that she has on her channel is all about me so she is putting false information, false information on her channel about me, about um, so-called income that I'm getting, that I'm not getting. Uh, she's saying that I'm lying. She's saying um, that I'm scamming people, that I am always on here begging for money, for funds. And once I get the money, you know, I'll say something that, oh, the job didn't work out. I'm still working. I'm still working. So, um, she's uh saying that she is going she's saying that i'm threatening her i'm threatening her channel she is cut copying pasting people's um chats on her channel um and she's feeding off whatever people are saying people are feeding off each other's comments things that are not true so she's putting that i'm getting if anybody knows what tanf is you know when you apply for food stamps they give you cash and they give you food stamps right so it's called tanf if anybody knows what tanf is Right. So TANF is, hey, Steven, hey, Diana, oh, is Steven on here? Where is he? Hey, Daniel. Hi, how are you? How you doing? I thought I saw Steven. Hey, Tima D. I thought I saw Steven up here. Hey. So if you know what, hey, Steven, there you are. So if you know what TANF is, is when you apply for food stamps, right? They give you food stamps and um, depending on your situation, they might give you cash assistance. I don't get cash assistance 
from the warfare. I have never, ever gotten cash assistance from TANF. Y'all know what TANF is, right? Yes, 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 yes. So I have never, ever, ever um, gotten TANF before. So on her channel, she's posting, I think she meant to say 500, but the way she put it, it's, it says 5,000. So TANF, I think you have to be living in a homeless shelter and have no income, right? I, don't, I really don't know how that works. I've never applied for it, but I think that's the way it works. So I think she meant to say 500 and she put 5,000. I don't get TANF. Let's make that clear. I don't get TANF. Hey, Jefferson. Uh, she's saying that I get $375 of food stamps in Tennessee. So I no longer get um, food stamps from Tennessee. I get um, food stamps here in Texas. So in Tennessee, I was getting $352 in food stamps. Here in Texas, I'm only getting $304. So it went down, it went down like a lot. It went down a lot. So it's 304 now, I think, here in Texas. So another thing is, there is no secret, no secret, that I've been wanting to move back to San Antonio for months. Yes, I am in San Antonio. So now people are talking shit, saying that, oh, I thought you wanted to keep your location secret. Okay, so let's 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 talk about that. Yes, I'm keeping my location secret. I'm keeping where I live secret. I don't need to tell you my jobs. I don't need to tell you what time I go in. That's none of your business. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But what time I go in, you don't need to know. You don't need to know where I work. That's nobody's business. So they're really wanting to know, you know, where I work, from what time to what time I go in. Um, again, it's no secret that I wanted to come back to San Antonio. Yes, I'm in San Antonio, Texas. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I'm reading the comments on her channel. People want to know from what time to what time I get off, like what time I start, what time I get off. They want to know the name of the establishments that I work at. Um, they want to know the name of the hotel. Like, are you serious? So yes, the hotel location is private. When I move, yes, the apartment is going to be private. So this person is telling other people or, or posting it on her community post for people not to donate to me, to not donate <clears throat> like for super chat, super stickers. She's giving out <clears throat> false information. She's even gotten so far as to go back 10, 11 years ago. I lived in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. My life has not been perfect, right? I never claimed that my life has been perfect and I've been homeless several times, but I've always been able to pick myself up and find us a place. Now, the last place that we lived here in San Antonio before I left to Tennessee, <clears throat> I lived there for three years. I had an apartment there for three years. So she went as far as going into the newspaper, going and putting my maiden name. She put my married last name. She posted it up on her community post, um, that article that happened in Winston, uh, North Carolina. She is on my TikTok. Whenever I post on TikTok, she posts it on her channel. Whenever I post here on Facebook, which I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with Facebook like that. So I don't really care. I don't really mess with Facebook like I used to, but, um, she, whenever I post, whatever I say, she's posting it on her channel and, um, preventing me from making my money. Um, either through super chat, super stickers, cash app, PayPal, However, you know, um, she is stalking me. She's threatening me. She's saying that she's going to take legal action. Um, she says that uh, to tell you guys to stop um, har harassing her, stop reporting her channel because she's going to take legal action. So if she's watching, um, come, come for me. Come for me because trust me, trust me, I would win my case. I will sue you and I will make sure that you will never, ever post another goddamn thing about me. So just to let you guys know, it's not true, whatever she's posting. Uh, the only thing that she did get right is the amount of money that I'm making on YouTube. So um, depending on the month, depending on the super chats, depending on the super stickers, uh, I make between $100 to $300 <clears throat> um, on YouTube. So next month, I know I'm not going to make any money because um, I deleted all my videos. I want to start fresh. I want to leave the past behind. Um, and I want to go back to what I wanted my channel to be. Um, what I was going through the last two years of my life was not easy. Um, I'm glad I'm back in San Antonio. Um, I'm, I'm glad I came back because I am, I'm, you know, I got my two jobs and hopefully I get my apartment soon, hopefully. But, you know, I, I, I don't want I don't want to talk about her. I mean, I don't want to mention, I don't want to mention her channel, you know what I'm saying? Because she's saying that I'm sending people over there to report her channel. Um, I've never mentioned anybody's channel on here but if you're guilty you're guilty if you know who you are you know who you are but she is stalking me um she's posting stuff that's not true um she's saying stuff that's not true 
Um, I tell you right now, I am not getting $375 of food stamps. I'm only getting here in Texas, 304. It did go down. I never got that in, in, in Tennessee. It, it, it was never that high. It was either, uh, let's see, the first time around I was getting two something and then it went up to 352. I can't remember how much I was getting the first time around. I think it was like two, two, 282 maybe the first time. And then when I reapplied, it was 352 or something like that. So I'm not getting no $375 uh, of food stamps. I'm not getting no TANF. Uh, I, I'm, no, I'm not getting none of that. Right. Right. So um, she is posting stuff that's not true. Um, I don't have I don't have problems if you guys ask me I'll, I'll answer it the best of my ability but if I feel like that's nobody's business I'll let you know hey nobody's business it is what it is so I want to start the channel fresh I want to wait until I move um, if I do make lives um, I will delete it immediately because she's stalking me and it's giving me like bad vibes um, you know it, it's, it's just weird how you're only posting videos about me you're not posting videos about nobody else now you're on hiatus you're on hiatus because there's nothing to post i mean i deleted all my videos so there's nothing to post so now because i don't have any videos now you're on hiatus you don't know how to cut clip copy paste somebody else on your channel it's just about me so it's, it's getting a little i'm feeling a little uneasy i'm feeling a little un, unsafe that if i do uh in the future make videos like let's say i'm out in my car and i'm just sitting somewhere in the parking lot and i'm making a mukbang like like it's it's, it's too much I, I i know that other channels cut clip and paste me on their youtube if she continues doing it yes i'm going to mention her channel um and then you guys can do whatever you want with that information but right now i'm not going to do it um but if she continues to stalk me to harass me to put up false information up there she put my maiden name she put my married last name up there she's she's saying that i got family that can help me out why am i on here uh, asking for help i don't have family i don't have the only family that i have is me and my girls other i don't know how your family works i really don't care what, if you're watching i really don't care how your family works but i don't have family i don't have family like that i have talked about my family life these last two years i don't have family my family is me and my girls right No, no, I understand that, Stephen. But like the other ones, I ignore it because you know one or two, three videos. But when you're making a video, right, a channel about one content creator, right, she has nothing else on there. All her community posts, all her channels, all her videos are about me. So that just that's just giving me the creeps. You know, it's like you're walking into a serial killer's room and all you see is pictures of this one particular person, right? Adamer did it. Uh, what's his name? Manson did it. You know, that's just giving me serial killer vibes. And that's not cool. Right. So she's saying that I'm the one who's harassing her. I'm the one who is threatening her. Uh, that you guys are going to her channel to tell you guys to stop. I'm not going to tell nobody to do anything. People have freedom of expression. People have freedom of speech. You know, people have, uh, God gave you choices. God gave you will. You know, you, you guys can do whatever you want. I, I, I've never said to anybody... To go do this and this and this I, I don't know i've never done that that's not no right so people are listening to her and they're not donating to me anymore they're not donating through cash app they're not donating through um paypal they're not donating through uh super chat super stickers people are afraid to come on here and chit chat with me people are afraid to leave any type of messages on my youtube studios because she cuts clip and spaces these comments on her channel and she's the one who called the hotel room and told the hotel room what was going on and had me kicked out. No, come back. No. Right, exactly, exactly. I don't know how to block her because she changes her name. So she has had two, two other, she has changed her name twice. I don't know what happened to her other channels. I don't know if YouTube did something about it, but again, if she continues to cut, clip and paste me on her channel, I will say her channel's name and we're going to have a war because I don't sit here. I don't make up stories. I don't lie. I don't give any type of false information. 
she is giving false information on her channel about me that's not true mm -hmm. and she's putting out personal information i know i know it's like public free you know it's, it's free to the public but like you're really too invested in this situation like it's just getting creepy it's getting disturbing vibes you know what i'm saying and i got kids hey oh thank you diana she is she is way way over like it's way over the obsession if you're trying to find something on my TikTok, you're trying to find something on my facebook page Thanks you're going into the newspapers you're you're putting out my maiden name my married last name you're putting false false information i do not re i repeat i do not get tanf i have never ever got it i have never ever applied for tanf only food stamps yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. <clears throat> right, it's creeping me out big time. Yeah. So far as decide to use or even go, what do you, what, what are you talking about? I don't know, Amanda. I don't know. And then, and then they're saying that I'm a pill popper. John and M, right? She used to be on my channel. I, I used to, uh, she used to be a mod on my channel. So now she's spreading the word, the, the rumors that I am popping pills, that I'm a drug addict. So because of my back, you know, I got back issues. So she's spreading rumors that I'm a drug addict, that um, I'm a pill popper. So she's starting all this shit because I unmodded her and now she's acting all nicey nice on these channels and emailing um, these other channels and trying to be nice when she's nothing but a fucking backstabber because she lives in a hotel room like I am with her baby and her boyfriend, her, her baby daddy works and pays for the room or something like that because she used to email me and tell me her business and I remember her, she used to tell me, oh, I'm gonna send you some money whenever I can and I was telling her no, you know we're in the same position don't send me no money she drives four hours to do something i can't remember don't don't quote me on it but she used to drive four hours to do something and four hours back to live in the hotel with her her baby daddy and her baby so if you see her that's the one that's spreading rumors uh, telling lies trying to act like she's supporting the channel she was doing the same thing to me she was supporting prayers for you and the girls blah 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 so she's spreading rumors that i unmod her because I didn't, she didn't send me no money when I had told her clearly not to send me nothing. And she said, oh, she mad because I didn't buy her for her birthday a $30 Yankee candle. I never told her to buy me shit. I, I always told her to keep your money. So if you see John and Emma around there somewhere in those channels, she's the one who's starting a lot of these rumors that are not true. Bitch, I don't fucking know you from Adam. I don't know you personally. But yeah, she's one of the people. And then you have Green Eye Kitty. She started some fuck shit too. So, um... If I can if I can write all this down, I will definitely definitely be blasting a lot of people on this fucking channel. Yep. So y'all remember John and M? How she used to be on here? Prayers for you and the girls. I wish you the best and this and that and the third. Yep. She's the one who's out there on several different channels saying that I'm a drug addict, saying that I'm a pill popper. Um, the only pills that I take is like ibuprofen, Motrin. Uh, Advil, Aleve, uh, for my back. You know what I'm saying? So uh, she's not being specific. She's just saying I'm being a pill popper. I've never been a pill popper. I've never been an alcoholic. I've never been a drug addict. Oh, yes, uh, cigarettes and my Pepsi, yes. But other than that, if I was a drug addict, would I have my kids? Would I be living here in a hotel with my kids? So if I was a drug addict, don't you think that my kids, people are saying, oh, we're CPS. Let's find out her location so we can call CPS so that CPS can come and take the kids. Bitch, you know how many times I've had CPS at my door? If CPS really thought that my kids were not well taken care of, don't you think that CPS would have taken my kids a long time ago? Mm -mm. Yup, yup, you know what I'm talking about, D. Exactly, I don't need to share nothing. Yup. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, I'm 50 years old. I don't know what that means, but... Can you explain it to me what docs? Bianca, what does that mean, docs? Docs, like doxy? Uh-huh. I mean, sharing someone's location or personal information so people know. You know oh, yeah. That's what she's doing. That's what she's doing. Yep. And to legal Yep. 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 Yep.
Yeah, that's what she's doing. I have no idea. Right. Yep, she's doxing. Yep, that's illegal. Yep. Yep, she's putting my full. She's putting my maiden name. She's putting my married last name. The the first marriage I had. She's putting information out there that's not true. She's preventing me from making money. That's illegal too. Hey. No, I don't do drugs. Right. I mean, I can still come on. My channel is not down. I did, I did not delete my channel. As you can see, I can still come back on my channel. I can still come on my lives. I can still make videos. My, my channel is just going to be on a temporary hiatus so I can get my stuff together and get an apartment. Um, I might come on live every once in a while. Um, my days are full here. So, but as soon as I make these lives, I will be deleting them um, as soon as possible. Excuse me. I don't know. I'm doing pretty good. I'm enjoying my day off. Hi, Stephanie. Right. Yeah, you remember her? Yep. What is this guy talking about, Javier? Let me go back in the chat. All right. Goodbye, Javier. You're yeah, stupid. Stupid little punk ass kids. Like, I'm really upset. Like, I'm really upset. No, we're not going to talk about her right now. I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you what I've noticed, um, what I've been um, seeing, what I've been uh, reading. Um, and I just wanted to clarify the situation that she's posting stuff that's not true. Um, she's giving false information. I've said it. If you're going to cut, clip, and paste me, always know your facts. Always know the truth. But you're just talking stuff that's not true so you can grow your channel so that you can try to. Bitch, you only got 182 subs. You're not, your, your channel is not going to grow overnight. And oh, all of a sudden, you're going to have a thousand fucking subs and you're going to be making money off of YouTube. No, bitch. It took me almost four years to get to where I'm at. And trust and believe, when I come back, I'm going to come back bigger, better, and stronger and make more fucking money. Right, because I unmodded her, because I made her a mod, and then she just kept deleting, deleting, deleting everything. She just kept, like, I wasn't able to, to interact. I wasn't able to chit-chat. I wasn't able to, um, you know, read the comment. It was like, boom, 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 boom. No, fuck that. She's only like a little 22-year-old girl. What does LMFAO mean, Bianca? LMFAO? Wait, LMFAO? Is that what you said, LMFAO? Yeah, LMFAO. Laughing my effing AR. Oh, okay. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Laughing. Strawberry, I'm not going to give out her channel. I'm not, no. I'm not. I'm not going to give her the views, sorry. Bianca. What? Well, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm just yeah. back because I'm off. I don't have to go to work. So I'm only, I'm only here because I'm off. So, and I just wanted, I've been having this on my, on my chest, on my brain, on my mind for the last couple of days. And I needed to figure out how I was going to address this situation. But uh, my channel is still here. I just deleted everything because I wanted to put the past in the past and I wanted to look forward to the future because everything is going really good for us here. What? Right. Right, exactly. You're right. Uh, thank you. Sharpay. <laughs> Daniela. Hold on, I'm trying to catch with the chat here. I think I have been oh, yeah, me too right. long. <laughs> hey. Yes, I, I am. Girls. Yes, Daniela. Everybody can see you. So, so again, let me recap for the people that are coming in, like Stephanie and stuff like that. So I deleted all my videos, right? I want to leave the past in the past. I want to start fresh. I want to start new. I think I said what I said, and, and I expressed myself, and I told my story and my feelings the best way I knew how, right? So, yes, I am back in San Antonio, Texas. That has never been a secret. I am just not sharing my location, the hotel, the future apartment. I am not sharing where I work at, at the boat jobs. What is that? Is that? What is, oh, you can have it. Is that from your stick thing? So, I am back here, but I am going to keep certain things private. Harper, stop lying to yourself. You feel neglected. Everybody's saying hi to you. Right? So... 
I will try to start fresh, to start new when things get better, when things get picked up. I'm just to the point where if I, let's say I wanted to go to somewhere to eat, right? And I'm in my car and I am making a video. Like how far is this person going to go? Um, she has threatened me saying that um, she's going to take legal action, that she can find me through my IP address. And I'm thinking to myself, how are you going to find me through my IP address when I'm videotaped? This is how stupid she is. I am videotaping from my phone, right? From a Metro PCS phone that it's over four years old or almost four years old. If you try to find me through my IP address, it's not going to happen because I bought this at a Metro PCS store like four years ago, right? And my address has changed several times. Now the address that I have on the phone is from my old, like, you know, when you move, I didn't change my address every time I moved on the Metro. So bitch, how the fuck are you going to find me? You sure hell can't find me through my IP address because I am filming from a four-year-old address, five-year-old address, no, four-year-old address, and it's a metro piece of shit phone. I don't know. Can't you, uh, Daniela, just put it on um, sub uh, only. Mm. Yeah. Just put it on sub only, Daniela. So, so how are you going to find me? I want to see that happen. I really do. No, I'm only, I'm not using Wi-Fi. No, not, not in this hotel. There's no Wi-Fi here. Oh, and then she says, and then one of her, one of her uh, subscribers saying, what kind of hotel is she living in? She don't have no, mic there's no microwave here. There's no Wi-Fi here. So definitely she can't find me. <laughs> I don't know. This table good. Janiela, put this only on uh, mod on. Um, yeah, I've been trying to do that. Um, I've been trying to, I don't know what YouTube is doing about it, but I've been trying to report um, her channel. I've been trying to report um, her videos and stuff and YouTube ain't doing nothing about it. Right, exactly. But if she continues to harass me and if she's watching, I don't come for me, bitch. Come for me because I guarantee you, I will win this. I will win this. You keep cutting, clipping, posting. I will put your name on my channel and I will I will I will send whoever the fuck to your channel to make sure we get that shit shut down. Cause I've had enough. Like I'm done. You're putting lies, you're 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 believing what your stupid ass little subs are saying, you're you're making up stories, you're lying, and I'm I'm over it. I'm over it. You're putting my kids, my situation in jeopardy. My channel is still there. Trust me, my channel, when I come back, it's gonna come back bigger, stronger, and with more subs. So whatever the fuck you think you're doing. You, you, you're not doing it. You had me kicked out of the fucking hotel. Bitch, I'm back in San Antonio. I got two part-time jobs. Hopefully I get an apartment soon. So really, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. They're not going to find me. No, it's not my home address. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, I have no Wi-Fi here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're not at home? Hmm. So I I don't know. Like I like I feel I feel like something's not right with this person. Like it's weird, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 mm -mm. it's it's giving me like psycho crazy. Is it? It is it? I I think it's an android. I don't know. Who's on the toilet? I wish I was on the toilet. So anyways, like I said, I am trying to raise uh, $299. Um, I do have a Cash App. I do have a PayPal. So if anybody wants to help so we can get up out of here, there is a $299 move-in special. 
right? I don't know if it's for next. Uh, I think it's only for this month. I don't. I didn't ask her. But if I can raise that money, I can go Monday and go give her the application. I filled it out already. I can give her the two ninety nine, so we can start the process and hopefully get this apartment on the 19th. We can move Friday, hopefully. So again, if anybody wants to donate to my channel, not through the Super Chats, not through the Super Stickers, I have a Cash App and I have um, the PayPal. Right. Oh, okay. Thanks for coming. <sighs> That's another reason I don't come on here because these guys are some stupid ass people. Do you have an Android? Oh, oh I read it wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, Brazil's in the house. So, again, um, if anybody wants to help, um, if anybody wants to donate, I'm going to try. You see, tomorrow I only go to one job. Tomorrow I go to one job. I can probably try to come back tomorrow. Um, if I can raise that money either today or tomorrow... I can definitely go, definitely go Monday and fill out, I mean, I already have the, app, not fill out, I already have the application. Give them the application, give them the $2.99 so that um, we can hopefully be in our apartment by Friday and I can give an apartment tour um, once we in there and we get approved. Oh, my Pepsi. Oh, no Pepsi there. Like, hey, like it's, it's, it's getting it's getting ridiculous how people are coming up with stories, lies. It almost sounds like a fucking telenovela. For real. But I'm going to keep watching her channel. If she keeps talking about me, mentioning me, we're about to have a war. We're about to have a war in our hands. For real, I'm about to have a war. She wants it, I'll give it to her. No problem. Okay. And then we're going to have to attack. We're going to have to... You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to take care of business. I got to smoke a cigarette. Mm, okay. Let me sit here so I can calm down. Cause I just I just wanted really to just enjoy my day off. So again the apartment is nice. Um somebody was saying Oh, it's, 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 it sounds like it's only a one bedroom. Oh, poor girls. They're never going to have their own rooms. And I'm thinking to myself, well, then if that's the case, bitch, then you need to fucking pay my rent. Then you need to pay my rent. So we are starting off small. Um, it's a one bedroom with a sunroom so the sunroom is a room and it's closed off with some french doors and stuff it's a room it's nice it's big 
And then, of course, you know, uh, the one bedroom. So I am starting small because I am a single parent. And the most important thing is that the girls have a roof over their heads, water to take a bath, you know, food in the refrigerator, and a nice warm bed to sleep in at night. So I think that's what's important. I don't want to live beyond my means, um, something that I might not be able to afford. You do need to make three times the rent here. Um, so this is the one that I can afford. We will start small. Um, and then maybe in a year, you know, we will progress to something else. Yeah, I sure am. Thank you. I'm a grown ass woman. Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay, Sharon. I love you. Just by you being here, that's all that matters. Right? Everything. It's okay, Stephanie. It's okay. So, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I have a stalker. Uh, why I deleted all my videos. Um, she even has videos of me, I guess, stored in her computer. Um, she just posted something up yesterday, I think, and, um, on her shorts, um, whatchamacallit, and it seems like she has videos somewhere on her computer, her phone, I don't know, I don't know this chick, um, and she's posting old ass videos uh, when I was working at Arby's um, in Tennessee. So if I continue, if, if in the next couple of days, if I see that she posted another fucking video, I will say her name and then, you know, you guys can do whatever you want. I'm not telling you what to do. But you can go ahead and um, do as you please. Only about me. All the shorts, all the videos, everything on her community post is about me. That That's, uh, that's called a s obsession. That's called being a fucking stalker. She's even going on my TikTok. The minute that I post something on my TikTok, she cuts clips and posts it on her channel. She don't talk. What what kind of what kind of reaction channel is she? What kind of comment? Don't don't you have to talk in order to be a commentary channel or a reaction channel? I don't know. Um, that's not my channel. That's not what I'm about. I can't say that right now, loyal. Loyalty. 
I can't, I, I cannot, I cannot save that channel right now. So, again, if I see her continue posting lies, uh, like y'all say, doxing and all the other stuff, yes, we're going to have, we're going to have a YouTube war here. We're going to have a YouTube war. Because I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. I should be able to make videos. I should be able to express myself. I should be able to do what I want to do, what YouTube allows me to do on YouTube. And I'm allowed to make my money any type of way, however, you know, but, um, yeah. She's she's going deep. She's going like personal deep. It's one thing to make videos, but like when you're actually digging into my life and you're actually um, posting stuff, what's next? Like, what the fuck is next? What you gonna do? I'm 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 waiting. I'm so fucking waiting. I don't know. This started in March. Her channel started in March. Um, and then I don't know what happened to that channel. She changed her name to another name. Um because people thought that I made a second channel and I didn't. So she's saying now to people not mention her channel on other people's channel, blah, blah, blah. So then she had another channel. She changed her name again. I don't know what happened to that channel. Now she has this channel claiming that it started June 10th. Uh, that she started that channel on June 10th of 2024 with a different name. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if YouTube is shutting it down or she's shutting it down. I really don't know. Don't quote me on it because I don't know. And she's still going. Right? I still going. She wants to keep it up. I I no problem. She wants to start a war. She wants to start drama. I'm that girl for you, honey, because I, I don't have that much time like I used to, but I'll make time. I I will make time. She not making fun of me. How is she making fun of me? Like, you're just putting stuff up there that's not true. Like, I don't really care. Like, it's not really important. But when you're putting out my personal information out there, that's a different story. That's a different story. When you're putting my last names, when you're putting false information, when you're saying that I'm getting, I think she meant to say 500, but when it shows it on her community post, it, it shows as $5,000. That I'm making $5,000 a month on TANF. Like, that's not true. Definitely not true. <laughs> Definitely not true. So I see, I understand what you're saying, loyalty. I see a lot of people doing that too. But it's one thing to cut, clip, and paste on your channel, but it's another to put out personal information. Are you not understanding what I'm saying? Once you put out personal information about another YouTuber, 
that becomes a legal issue. Right? That becomes a legal issue. So, you know, I've seen a lot of YouTubers, but not like this one. Not where they're only having videos about me, their shorts, their videos, you know, these people that are on the other channels, you know, contradicting themselves on top of that, making up lies, making up stories, you know, and then you're doxing someone by putting their personal information, maybe their whereabouts, you know, calling the hotel. We know she fucking did it. We know that she did it. So, and then she talking about, oh, I'm going to take, bitch, come, come, please, please, please get your lawyer. I'll get a lawyer and we'll fight this in court. And I guarantee you that I will win. I promise you I will win. And then I'm going to put it all over fucking YouTube that you're a fucking bitch. A crazy bitch at that. Right. Oh, I can't tell you that, Aiden. I like that name, Aiden. Right. Exactly. So it's, it's, it's getting to be a little... Uh, again, I am not... I, 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 I don't know why she's stalking me. I really don't. I don't know this person. I don't know this person in person. I don't really know why. Because on one of her videos, on the bottom of the video, she says, Oh, I still hate you, Denise. And I was like, You hate me? That's a fucking strong word. For one, that is a strong ass word for you to be telling somebody you hate them. Right? I don't, I don't, I don't say that, but, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. Um, the pool is not, I was going to take the, the girls to the pool, but <clears throat> I think they're having issues with the pool and the plumbing here. So I can't take them. I can't take them to the pool. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> again, if she continues, uh, if she's watching, <clears throat> if you continue to dox me and you continue to cut, clip, and paste me, and I see another fucking post, I, I am going to, to tell them your fucking channel's name and we're about to have a YouTube war. And, and they, they, they know what they need to do <clears throat> to shut your fucking ass down. And if you continue to come back up, we're going to shut you down again. <clears throat> I'm not telling y'all what to do, but... Yeah. Oh, I thought you were the one. Amanda can do it. I don't know. I thought you were doing it before. I know Amanda knows how to put only subs. <clears throat> somebody knows how to do it because somebody's been doing it. So again, I am going to try to raise this funds for the apartment. Um, it's a $299 special. So um, if anybody wants to help out, thank you, Amanda. Is that is that who you did it? Right? 
Thank you. So again, if anybody wants to donate, you can. Um, you know, whatever you can. I'm going to try to do it today and tomorrow. Uh, let's see, tomorrow. Uh, I have to go to work. Uh, maybe when I come back from work and I relax and whatnot, whatever. So it might be around... 7 or 8 in the evening, uh, I'll try to come back on live um, to see if we can try to raise this money uh, or, or, you know, how, I don't know. So, um, yeah. Oh, Lisa's not feeling too well. So, yeah, Lisa's not been on here because she just is not really feeling too good or, you know, you know, she's going through cancer and stuff like that. Yeah, me too. But I talk, as a matter of fact, I talked to her today. I called her today. So, um, yeah, she's not feeling too well. Um, you know, she's going through her, her cancel, her, her cancer battle. Yeah, so someday she feels good and she's very talkative and other days she doesn't answer the phone, so I know that, you know, she's not feeling well. But other days when she picks up, we talk for a few minutes. And, um, you know, every day is different for her. Uh, you know, every day is different for everybody. But for her, especially because she's going and she's trying to fight this cancer, um, you know, she has her good days, she has her bad days. I will, I'll tell her. Yes, oh yeah, she's been doing that for years. Yeah. Yeah. I am, I am very happy here, very happy. I am, I'm glad I came back. Um, <clears throat> I think to myself, you know, I should have came back sooner than later. But I think everything happens for a reason. I think everything happens um, when it's supposed to happen, you know. Um, and it happened, and I'm good. We're healthy. We're thriving. You know, um, I'm working and now we're just, you know, trying to get this apartment. Yeah. So again, it's not going to, it's going to be like a starter apartment. You know, I was telling a friend of mine, I was talking to her earlier and, uh, you know, um, like I was telling her sometimes in life, you know, you have to start new, you have to start fresh, you know, um, you have to start small, you know, and, and we're okay with that. I talked to Bianca and, you know, we're okay with starting small again and, and maybe in a year I'll be able to move to a two bedroom, you know, um, or a three bedroom. I don't know. Anything can happen you know, from now to a year, but just starting off small, um, she still will get her own room, um, but, you know, as long as my kids are with me, as long as they're healthy and they got everything they need, um, you know, I think that's the most important thing. Oh, I know. 
Yes, it's it is. It is. Yes, yes. So, you know, um, you can say what you want. Uh, you know, these haters, these trolls, you can, you know, but if you're not paying my rent, stop talking all that shit. And talking about, oh, the girls are never going to have their own room. And, you know, they're never going to have no stability and blah, blah, blah. So if you want me to have an apartment that everyone's going to get their own rooms, then you need to send me that money every single month. Because apartments are not cheap. You got to make three times the rent. And I thought about doing a two-bedroom, but I don't want to be struggling. I don't want to be stressing out. You know, as long as they have what they need, um, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Okay, all right, D. Right, so the most important thing is they have a roof over their heads, you know, food on the table. We're going to make it look cute, cute. It's a washer and dryer hookup. There is a dishwasher in the apartment. Um, it's really, really nice. It's 900 square feet. Um, I think that's plenty of room for the three of us. Um, it has a pool, a park a dog park, a clubhouse. So, I mean, what more can they ask for? It's it's friendly. It's a family apartment complex. So, you know, while, while I'm working, while they're in school, in reality, we're just going to be in the apartment to sleep, eat, and and shower you know and, and once august comes we're barely going to be in the apartment because i'll be working the girls will be in school and you know we'll we come together at night it's all that matters Right. So, like I said, if anybody can donate to my Cash App or my PayPal, um, you can donate there. I'm going to try to come back. Oh, I can definitely come back on tonight. Hold on. Let me see how much charge I got. 8%. I can definitely come back tonight a little later because I'm off today mm -hmm. from both jobs. So, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, so tomorrow would have to be at night time because it's Sunday, so people go to church, you know. Um, what you call it? But tomorrow after work, I only have to work for a few hours, uh, and then once I relax and stuff like that, I can come back. I'm gonna take a shower, and I can probably do another live tomorrow to try to raise the funds for the apartment. Um, and if I cannot raise the funds, I'm okay with that too. You know, we'll we'll make it work. Yeah. We'll do a live tonight. Right. So as long as they're fed, they have a shelter, clothes on their backs, you know, I have to try to hustle to get this apartment. Because after I get the apartment, then I gotta try to hustle back to school supplies, um, back to school clothes. So this is why I'm starting small because I still have, as a single parent, I still have to get back to school stuff, back to school clothes. You know, I'm doing this all on my own. 
Um, did she? You got blocked because she's lying. Because she's telling stories. It's, who the hell gets $5,000 in TANF? Nobody. I think it depends on your income. Or, I don't know how that works. I can't really say nothing about it. I don't know how that works. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, when when I move, I'm going to try to invest in a laptop. So I'm going to try to um, get a laptop so I can be able to manage my YouTube a little bit better and learn more uh, about, you know, being a better content creator. So, yeah. It's on Facebook, yeah, it's fine. Facebook is fine. Not on TikTok, Facebook. So, um, yeah, but anyways, I do have a TikTok. I'm going to start posting more on TikTok because of my schedule. Um, and it's only like a three minute video and I can post it and it'll post quick. Um, so if anybody wants to go on TikTok and follow me there, I do have, um, on the community post, I have the TikTok name. Um, if anybody wants to follow me on TikTok. I know you have to have a thousand subs on TikTok before you can go live. So if anybody from here wants to go to TikTok and, and follow me there, um, I'll probably for now be posting more on TikTok. I probably will only do lives here when I get a chance or a day off or, or whatever some time. Um, and then delete them because, you know, I'm not going to keep them up here, but yeah. Yeah. Other channels don't give me that feeling, but her channel gives me that feeling, gives me that weird vibe, obsession, stalker, um, yeah, it's just not giving me a, a nice, the other ones I don't really care. They're not, they're not giving me that vibe, you know, um, but this one to just post about me and only me, all her video, all 86 videos of her is just about me. Nah. You know, you know, if you were to ever walk into my apartment, right? And all I had was pictures of you. You know what I'm saying? And only of you, wouldn't that give you like crazy vibes? Like you would say to yourself, oh man, damn, Denise must be crazy because... The only thing that she has on her walls is this picture of this one person. Oh, I'm not, I'm not coming back here. I'm, I'm, you know, Denise, I love you, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not visiting you. I'm not coming back to your crib because, you know, you're getting that weird feeling and I, and I have to go with my intuition. So again, if she continues and if she's watching, if you want a war, bitch, I'll give you one. I'll give you one, no problem. Uh, I got over 15,000 subs and you got what? 182, 184? Um, you want it, I'll give it to you, no problem.
No. No. So anyways, let me let y'all go. Let me charge the phone. Give me a few hours. It is 3.15 here in San Antonio, Texas. Um, uh, let's see, three. May, maybe I'll come back on later, seven or eight. Let my phone charge. And again, come follow me on TikTok if you want to. I will be posting more on there once i move and i settle in and i buy me a computer i'll definitely come back um i'll definitely come back on youtube but i, I can still come back on live my my channel has not been deleted so catch you guys later deuces pieces and thank you for coming bye <sighs> Let me come on here <coughs> for a little bit. Good afternoon. Hey, KJS. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Hey. Oh, God, that's a lot of boss, man. Hey, Rio. Hey, Diana. I've been working. I've been busy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Ruby. How y'all doing today? I've been super busy working. I'm off today, so I go back tomorrow to one of the jobs. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been exhausting. Right? They sure do. Hey.